So episode two, essentially what we're doing is you get this little this little weapon, and if you spend 12 whatevers, 12 dice values, pips we'll call them, you can get steal one of the enemy's abilities at the end of the round. So it should make for an interesting play here. Some enemies have very strong abilities, so, you know, maybe. We'll see. See if we can get something cool going. Um, so we split here, we get the three and the two. We might as well start stacking this finder's keepers here. <laughs> Poor guy rolled three. He rolled not even snake eyes, it's like triple. I'm, I'm trying to think of a, an animal that has three eyes, but I can't. Um, anyway, so I don't want to kill him quite yet. I think we just stack it on here, get him down to one. Not that even like the slime ball is that good, but I think the earlier we start doing this kind of stuff, the better. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, the earlier we start grabbing other people's equipment, we can get a feel for how the item works, start compiling different build types and all that. That's fine, I guess. So we have hook here we can use to replay one of our items. Um, I don't think there's any need to do it, not immediately at least. Other armor could be useful. We did get a three. Maybe plasma cannon would be good in like the, the distant future. <laughs> I'm not really sure. We'll see, maybe. Um, for now, let's just use the dagger here. And then we get a little bit of something on there. I guess the leather armor isn't going to do anything because he can't get 20 and 3. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay, well now we probably do want the leather armor. So let's do kind of a double split, hoping we get two threes. We did get it on one of them. So that's pretty good. We can throw in some poison there. We're just going to hope that he doesn't hit us here. But he probably will. Yeah, he does. Ultimately, it doesn't matter, though. Because we're going to level up after this. We're going to get our health back. No worries. And, yeah, I guess we just clonk him now. So split that here. I'm trying to think if there's any easy way to get to this 11, but I don't think so. Which I guess now that I think about it, he was at 20 again. So we probably had an extra turn there, but so be it. Let's fight Sneezy. See what we got here. Alright, so let's do a double split. We don't like high high pip items. Ooh, that's a fantastic split. Get a whole bunch of shots off. That's beautiful. Okay, I don't really know what we want to steal from him. None of these are like, dude, no shot does he get <laughs> double sixes right off the bat. Whatever. Um, but it, yeah, so I don't know if I like any of his stuff that much. But it's still probably worth grabbing just for for future use um i go poison we'll get finders keepers next turn i'm gonna let, give the poison a couple turns to tick okay he didn't get double sixes again that was insane i don't know how he does that sneezy's out here wildin um let's see we can split the one into two other ones. We add some poison. We have to choose if we want to steal one of his items or if we want to kill him this turn. I mean, what are the odds he gets double sixes again, right? If he does, we're going to be in trouble. But <laughs> if he doesn't, I think we're okay. Let's go find his keepers here. We've got the reduced damage just in case. But yeah, we're good. We'll take four damage in total. And now we can take him out. Cool. 
Good start. Not too bad. I guess we take Sneeze here. Alright, not a bad roll here. We can split the six, see what we get here. Would've been great if we had two threes off of that, but... I guess we can deal with fours. That's the thing, so the fours on the sneeze here do less than just stacking the fours, on, like, individually, you know? It's kind of a waste, but... I don't know. Maybe we'll use sneeze later. It's kind of just chilling for now. We do have hook, which reuses our equipment, so we can... I guess we probably start splitting a six. We could put it on the poison, though. Maybe we do that and then we just use our three homies. We could dagger or we could leather armor. Yeah, we could double stack leather armor. Of course now is when they don't actually attack. <laughs> Funny how that works, huh? Alright, so let's split the five. Hopefully get a... Okay, yeah. And I think we're guaranteed to get at least one even. Or actually get exactly one even. My math is correct. So I get one four hit. What is it gonna weaken here? Weakens the sneeze, which is obviously a great hit for us. Um, let's go daggers, daggers, slime ball. So we gotta win. Ooh, okay, he didn't get the hit again. That's huge. There was a chance that we just straight up die. It was unlikely, to be fair, but there was a chance. Um, Alright, so I guess we just take these two. Duplicate dice, not bad. Alright, so Wizard is actually not too difficult of an opponent. I'm not too worried about him. I think we start out, we can split the one. Maybe. Let's go six. Yeah, four, two. Yeah, they see, these aren't great rolls here. What is he going to do? We also have to see which of these we want to steal. So it looks like we're just going to do damage here, put on some poison, get our finder's keepers a little lower. Heals five, freezes two. Freezing two is kind of tough, actually. Okay, so we can reuse something. I'm not sure what yet. I think we're just going to be... I don't know, we just dagger for two? Neither of these are fantastic options. We could split a bunch of times and dagger for four. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, we just, we'll just throw him out there, see what happens. He does get an extra die. So it's a null turn now, but it could be worse later. Net neutral, I think, if we beat him next turn. Which we should be able to do. I think. We'd have to get a little bit lucky. Okay, so he gets another die and he dodges. That's actually a little bit concerning now. Um, we should probably split here. Three, two. We want to throw out one, get rid of his dodge. We throw out a three. Okay. We can throw on some poison, guarantee a kill next turn. Get some leather armor just in case. We're going to be basically guaranteed to get finders keepers. I'm just trying to make sure we don't like die. <laughs> you know, just in general. Ooh, just kidding. We can do this. Beautiful. Did not have to take two. Okay. So let's see. I think the poison is probably going to be the way to do it. In general, I just think poison is going to be really solid here. Grab an apple, head on down. So I want to throw in the poison here, but we have to be a little bit cautious with how we do that. 
because we have a lot of poison, not a whole lot of damage aside from the dagger otherwise. And some of these enemies are going to be resistant to poison, so got to be a little careful, but <laughs> this guy obviously is not, so should be good to go. Just toss in some finders keepers. When you're running poison, you generally don't need any other damage. Poison already does so much over time, unless they're resistant to it, right? Um, let's split this, see if we can get a three without hurting ourselves. <laughs> we did not, okay. Um, how do we want to do this? I think we're just going to have to take two here. Deal four. Get two. We might... I don't know. We could probably get away without using it. But then we also need finders keepers, so... <laughs> Maybe we do it anyways. Okay, well at least he got a six. He didn't get to do a ton of damage. Guaranteed to lose this turn. Well, he is. We're guaranteed to win. So let's use Finders Keepers. I don't know what we want to steal yet, but... Just have the opportunity. And we're good. Okay, Cannon Fire. It's gonna be the better of the two. Especially if we can upgrade it so that it only takes up one spot. I think that could go very well with our Slime. Or sneeze, not slime. That's what it's called. Um, Cause yeah, if we upgrade sneeze, oh man, it doesn't go to, to one size. If we upgrade sneeze, we just need a double, and it can do everything for us. Reduce countdowns by blank this turn. Let's just get the counterfeit plus. This one's much more versatile right now, and it's just generally very good. So let's see. I'm thinking, trying to decide if we want to keep Lockpick with Counterfeit Plus. They work very well together, but they also kind of perform a similar function. I think we test it out. Now the Drain Monster is resistant to poison, I believe. Yeah. So he's going to take half damage, but that's kind of okay. We have a few other ways to damage here. Sonic Wave and Dagger being the two. So we're going to want to split, try to get some threes out here. Um, okay, so let's split here. We did get the three, so we can hook. We could hook duplicate, maybe? I don't think, so we have one three on the poison spell. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Because we also want threes for, for dagger, right? If we just go here. Now it's hard to decide whether poison spell would be good or not. Because it's dealing half damage, but it is passive still. So like maybe it would be worth it. No. We'd have to run the numbers and see. I'm not sure yet. Okay, and we do have to get finders keepers going before we just straight up kill everything. We get a bunch of threes again, that's huge. And then... Go here. Doesn't really matter where we throw each of them. So now we need to set up for Finders Keepers next turn. Hopefully not taking too much more damage. Looks like we're good. Ooh, fives are fantastic. Okay, so we need five damage here which we're going to have to split between Dagger and Sonic Wave, most likely. But if we do this, that's fine. If we go to four on the Sonic Wave, one on the Dagger, we can clean up Finders Keepers here. Well, didn't that just work out beautifully? <laughs> Alright. And we get the level up. Beautiful. I think we grab Sinkhole. There's a chance we can use it with our Sneeze Plus. Not entirely sure, but we'll we'll try it out. Keep it as an option. Um, dude, none of these are ever shrinking down to one size. <laughs> it's kind of frustrating. We'll get the sneeze plus here. It's pretty good. Running fireman, so he is not going to be resistant to poison. So we can lean a bit more into our poison element here. So we got a six. Probably want to split it up first. 
We could counterfeit just to guarantee finders keepers real quick, but I mean, we're gonna get it eventually, right? Don't really have to worry about it. Um, this actually lines up beautifully. We can go two on the slime ball for an extra couple damage and poison. And then we just throw in some daggers. And we'll just add one to the finders keepers. Um, okay, so he does deal six, but the rest are ones. So we'll take it. I got a feeling we're going to need to <laughs> take two damage from this five here. So, question is, do we split it first? Yes, and then we can go here. Duplicate again. It's such a good combo when you can just get a ton of threes. Feels so strong. We go here. I mean, if you think about it, we're going to win in two turns anyways. Let's just stack up Finders Keepers. Right, because next turn the poison's going to take him out. So we're going to take eight. He's going to burn one. That's fine. Yeah, so we can just end turn here. Beautiful. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay. And we're far from leveling up, so we do have to keep track of our health here. Um, not many options. <laughs> we have one option, so we'll take the fireball. Pitbull would be proud. Alright, direwolf. Strong against poison, again. There's a lot of those. I don't... Does anyone understand why direwolf is strong against poison? Like, he's a wolf. I don't... <laughs> I don't get it. I don't see the, the association there, but... You know, it don't really matter. Okay, we go here, go here. Alright. Thinking about it, probably shouldn't run Sonic Wave on one of those threes. That was a little goofy. Okay. So we're cursed, we gotta be a little cautious there. Yeah, okay. That's gonna screw with the turn. <laughs> Significantly. So let's throw in the six here, get find it. Well, no, we could do this. We go here, we go here. Yeah, okay. We'll go six. He's taking very little damage from poison. Another double six? What is going on here? Crazy. At least we're not taking a lot of damage. That's the silver lining here. Three ones is brutal. Okay, um, hmm. Let's split the four. Dude, come on. <laughs> Y'all gotta chill out here. Alright, so we could probably just hook so we can get some extra weakness. Make him a little less likely to absolutely schmonk our booties. Okay. He honestly did very little. We'll take it. Okay, um, this, this hand looks a lot better. We're not cursed, so we don't have to worry about losing out on a bunch of stuff here. So obviously we're gonna counterfeit, get a bunch of threes. Seems like the play. And then we can get some poison, kinda just throw everything at this dagger. Um, can we kill him this turn? It depends if we round up. I think it does round up. Yes, it does, okay. Beautiful. Love to see it. And... <laughs> okay. I mean, the claws don't do anything for us. We'll grab Direwolf Howl. I don't know what the upgrade is for it. I don't foresee us using it, but maybe. Maybe it's just really good. Who knows? Grab an apple. Go to this trade store. That just can't be worth it. Counterfeit for Blight plus... Nah, there's no shot. We'll change up a couple of our items. Nothing crazy, no build defining changes here, but just get a few few different abilities. So we can do poison again on the cactus, which is probably gonna be the play. Because he's gonna get some thorns, he's gonna start hurting us back a little bit. Um, so let's split there. Okay, we get a 3-2. 
fantastic. Um, let's see. If we duplicate the six, we can deal six with Fireball and then also put on Finders Keepers. Seems pretty good. Um, this actually lines up pretty well now that I'm looking at it. We can go three on the Poison spell. We can go Leather Armor with the one. And then we go Duplicate six. And then we go six Fireball. Six Finders Keepers, two Slime Ball, one of the Finders Keepers. That was clean. I love that one. Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Okay, that's fine. Not a huge problem. Um, we got another six. We could duplicate here. We gotta get a three from this. That's huge. Three, two is just... It's, it's leagues better than one, four in this particular build. So I'm very glad we found it. And we did end up finding... We are not gonna get him this turn, unfortunately. He's gonna be stuck at one. Take an extra two damage. We don't have to attack him here. We have Finders Keepers online. We can just end turn. Okay. I mean, neither of these seem like they're gonna be great. I'll be honest. So I think we just grabbed the thorns. Um, I don't foresee us using it. Oh god, what do you got? Overwhelm would be very cool to have. Maybe we try to focus that one. Come on, give me two, three. Never lucky. <laughs> I say as we get two, three every other time. Um, so we can split up the four, maybe. Because we can throw the four on the fireball. And then again on the finders keepers. Um, do we ever double duplicate? That seems a little much. That seems a little much. We can hook fireball, maybe. Or do we do poison? We could hook poison and then get him a whole bunch of poison. Yeah, he's already at 10. That's insane. Okay. That felt like a pretty good turn, if I do say so myself. Okay, so he opted not to go for the overwhelm, which is good for us. Um, no threes here. Do we have any, hmm, any evens? You could just split it. That was two, so this is either one, two, or, th oh, no, I can't even tell what it is. <laughs> you get a two with any other item, or dice number. Not a three, I'll tell you that much. Kinda tricky. Blind is tough, man. I mean, we could just guarantee we get to use Fireball here, maybe? Oh, that's cursed, okay. So this is odd. And it was a one, okay. <laughs> Not a huge problem, to be honest, but still a little annoying. Okay, he got no evens, that's insane, okay. We're getting very lucky, not taking a lot of damage here. Okay, split you, that's a one. Um, two or more, please. That's another one. <laughs> we should just use the two on it, I don't know. So we can duplicate here. Um, was that five? That's not bad. And we just do this. It doesn't matter if we duplicate the two because we can't use the other one. This is guaranteed to die next turn. I said everybody had ending up on one. And now he actually gets to do damage. Feels bad, man. Alright. Again, we can just end turn here. Nothing crazy. I don't think there's anything we can do. <laughs> of course. Of course the goat's cursed. I don't think there's anything we can do to benefit us outside of the battle. Yeah, I think it's got to be Overwhelm here. Camouflage works well with the countdown we're trying to do, but Overwhelm seems fun. Ooh, upgrade. Could definitely take an upgrade here. What do we want to upgrade though? That's the question. 
Let's see. Three uses. Not bad. That sounds great. Um, let's try throwing it in here. Maybe we ditch the poison. Overwhelm is kind of like poison, if you squint. Because it, like, it damages over time, it gets stronger. I guess poison gets weaker, but... Still kind of that overtime thing. Yeah, we don't want that. Let's head on back. Alright, we got a Wisp. I don't know if I've ever fought a Wisp yet. Okay. Definitely want to run Overwhelm here. What do we get from this? 5-1, that's tough. Hmm. Just do this, I think. Make sure we stack up our Overwhelm as quickly as possible. And then Leather Armor. Okay, so he's gonna deal damage burn. I don't, I don't know what Vanish does. Anyone know what Vanish does? <laughs> This is what I like the... In some games, if you hover over something, it'll tell you what it does. I wish they had that here. If I knew what the heck Vanish did. A okay, split you... We can get two Overwhelms. Three if we pay two health. Which honestly might be worth it, to be honest. Overwhelm is such a fun ability. But six to deal six. It's probably worth it. We're only gonna take one since we have leather armor. So I guess we could do that. We do finders keepers though, just to make sure we get it. Okay, he did not vanish. Still don't know what vanish does. <laughs> um I think we try to split into multiple Evens, fantastic. Um, this just wins, right? No, we're off by a little bit. But poison gets him there. So we go four on the overwhelm. Poison will take him out at the end of the turn so we can save hook. Okay, cool. Oh baby, we're looking good. Alright, so let's grab this. I'm curious what it does. We'll see if we actually find a way to run it. Um, yeah, see, there's no way to, like, <laughs> it doesn't tell you what it does. It's kind of annoying. Um, what if we upgrade it? Hmm, it doesn't shrink. Why do none of them shrink? I just want one size items. That's it. Hmm. Not loving any of these too much. Other armor doesn't do much. Lockpick is okay. I think we're just gonna wait. I don't think there's any reason to upgrade any of these yet. Let's see if we get a better item. Okay, so we're on Paper Knight. Deals a lot of damage early and it falls off very quickly. We don't have any healing, so that's going to be our problem here. Hmm. I think we're going to have to split the five. Guaranteed one even, one odd. And four. Okay. I think we're going to have to duplicate here. We go hook on the four. And just get more fours. Or we could... Hmm. Let me think about this. I think if we do the five here... Because we want to get Finders Keepers. We know we're going to be guaranteed four or three triggers on the Overwhelm. So we should instead do it like this so we make maximum use of our turn. He is going to get to lock two dice, that's, that's tough. Oh, okay. This is when hook would be very nice. 
Okay, so we get two hits on Overwhelm. Obviously not ideal, but it could be worse. And, ooh, he gets all evens. He can't lock any dice. That's huge. And we get three twos. Lovely. They're doing 21. So, yeah, if we duplicate a two, we can take him out with the poison, just like last fight. So we go two duplicate here. And then we go three hits on Overwhelm. So two on the Finder's Keepers. And then we're good. Love to see it. I don't think either of these are really good, but I don't know. We'll grab glue. To throw something away. Feels bad, man. Um. <laughs> I don't really know if we're going to be using any of these, I'll be honest. We'd probably just get rid of this one. They're just so bulky, you know? How do you make a team, or uh, make an entire build around two size items? It's kind of tough. Ooh, okay. Glue. You get to lock three dice in a turn. That's fantastic. Alright, so now we're basically just locking them down, make sure they can't do anything. And then slowly scale up our overwhelm. So we need three evens, three odds. <laughs> That's how this is working. This is kind of a fun build. So we split the five, guaranteed one and one. And then right now we have three evens, two odds, so we need to duplicate a an odd dice. He only has three dice, so we can lock him out entirely. That's fantastic. Alright, so lock, lock, lock. And we start stacking up some damage. <laughs> this feels a little broken. I guess if they have more than three dice, then it's not quite as good, but it still feels a little too good. Okay, so split the one into two ones and then this is the strongest set of ones and twos you've ever seen we don't even need hook right now unless we get an unlucky roll so far so good same as the last time except one of the ones is a three we can turn the one into two ones duplicate the two and then he'll be down to one health. Why are they always down to one health? <laughs> what is going on? Okay. Um, realistically, it's probably better that way. It's because we can, in theory, get the, the finder's keepers now. Yeah, so we can duplicate a six. Do we want to keep any of these? Beetlehead, but maybe. Only if it can upgrade into a one size item. That is my restriction must okay and yeah we'll grab this one and grab a singer see how this goes all right so we're testing a poison build now I'm not sure if it'll be better than our previous build but might as well test it before we get to the final boss <laughs> and realize that it sucks. Uh, so we can duplicate literally anything to get doubles, but we already have twos. We can go three. Let's see, how do I want to do this? We can double up the poison. We can go even here. And then the interesting part, the sneeze actually triggers finders keepers too, which is kind of convenient. <laughs> He's already at 20 poison, which is just ridiculous. So we're going to take a little bit of damage here. Honestly, nothing too crazy. And... Dude, those are the worst possible weakens he could get. That hurts. Okay, well... Looks like we're going to take an extra turn. 
after all. We'll go three here. We'll go even on the slime ball, probably. And then it doesn't really matter, you know, if we put anything on any of these. We're just gonna sneeze next turn, right? Unless I guess if it gets weakened. It gets weakened twice in a row. Dealing seven damage. At least you didn't get the 12. What's weakened here? Okay, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's cook it. Now oh, we got our health back anyways. Beautiful. I know, I guess. We can get rid of... Let's just get rid of Vanish. I, I don't know what it does, but... It doesn't seem like it's that good. Okay, I like this setup. I think the poison is safer. I don't know how many dice Madison gets. Yeah, five dice. Poison is probably safer. We just have to stack it up super fast. And this is actually a really solid first roll here. I don't even need duplicate. Okay, so we're up to 12 poison. Not bad. So she... She only rolled two evens. So we're gonna add an extra damage each time she plays an even card. That's a little tough. Um, I wish we had the split right now, but we don't. So we could pay two health to get two extra poison. I mean, that might be worth it. Let me go here, duplicate. Oh, we don't even need to duplicate, really. We don't have any threes. We just do this. Okay, so up to 26. We can get one more. But she actually, she can't weaken us. So we're actually fine, I think. Doing three, four. Yeah, we need to kill her ASAP. <laughs> as soon as possible. Okay, so we can duplicate here. Yeah, this is over. We go here. Might as well throw an additional two, just for fun. What is that? 54 poison? <laughs> we had two very interesting builds going on. I'm very pleased with how that went. I don't know, would the lock dice build have been better there? Maybe. It's possible, but I think this one was fun. <laughs> I'm glad we got to kind of show off both of them. It made it more interesting. Hope y'all enjoyed. I certainly did. I will catch y'all in the next one. For now, have a good one.